Nearly every top driver in the world today began his or her career racing carts. And they'll all tell you that the biggest challenge they faced was making the transition from carts to cars. Here's how some of the most successful did it. I mean, I think uh, th there's a lot with the transition from, from karting to race cars. I thought it was more than, than I expected. You know, I, a lot of people first like, oh, especially with a champ car at that point, it's just like a, a big go-kart. Well, it's a big go-kart with a ton more horsepower in it and a lot harder to drive. The performance level of a kart is something that you probably don't get into again until you get close to whether it's IndyCar or Formula One. So uh, essentially you're almost taking a step back when you go into, you know, whether it's Formula Renault, Formula Ford, you know, even up to Formula Three, these things, they, they uh, you know, Mazda, you name it, the, the, the cars react a lot slower. The closest thing to a go-kart is a Formula One car as far as how fast things happen, reaction time and everything. And, and usually you come out of a go-kart and you step into a Formula Ford or a Formula Renault or something and everything happens so much slower. And you've really just got to slow things down. Your braking zones are a lot longer. Throttle application is a lot slower. And uh, you just got to be very patient in that learning process. Karting is a great tool, but it's uh, a very different style to formula cars. You, you have to take your time and be a lot less aggressive in the formula cars uh, as you come up, and especially in the, um, the GT cars, uh, as the car's a lot softer and you have to understand what's happening as the car pitches into the corner. I think the biggest thing for guys coming out of carts uh, and getting into cars, the biggest change is that cars are so much heavier than a cart. Uh, where if you get a cart out of shape, it really kind of snappy and quick. And even a prototype in IndyCar, there's more weight and more mass to those uh, corrections. So uh, you tend to use up a little bit more space. Yeah, in, in cars, uh, you don't realize how heavy they are when you're driving them. Uh, so when you do spin, uh, the car can keep going for, for a long way, especially if, it, if it's damp outside or something. Uh, if you think about how far you think it's going to spin, just multiply it by 10 big tendency for a lot of new guys, young guys getting into it, drivers, is they tend to try and, they, they tend to overdrive the car. They're reacting too quick. They're trying to make it do something too quickly. And it just doesn't react like a go-kart, you know, whether it's the tires or the weight of the car. It's all about, um, you know, it's, it's all about just, you know, taking your time and you have to be aggressive in a car, but it's more like being patiently aggressive. You know, you have to really, um, you know, work with the car through the corner a lot more than a go-kart which reacts so quickly. You really have to be smooth, especially when you transition into some of the earlier formulas. You don't have a huge amount of downforce or big slick tires, uh, certainly that would give you the feeling of something like a go-kart. Um, so it's about slowing it down and learning about dynamics, starting to work with your engineers, uh, what an anti-roll bar is, uh, what high speed and low speed bump is on a, on a damper. Uh, so a lot of things uh, are technical, but also it relates into how you drive the car. There's a lot to learn when you come out of go-karts into cars. You've always got to make sure you listen to your engineers and, uh, you know, there's a lot more with, with engine drivability, uh, with the braking. Uh, you've got a lot more weight to be pulling up and so on. Um, but, but I remember in go-karts and you talked about the tillet seat and so on and it was all about building up those calluses because, you know, you'd wear through the skin so much and uh, the seat was just rock solid. Um, when you get into the race car out of go-karts, it actually all feels a bit more comfortable. Uh, you, you build a seat which is nicely formed uh, to your body and uh, you get the pedals perfectly set and you get a nice spring on the throttle and, and everything's very comfortable. This day, for some reason, I, I'm racing go-karts still now. You know, I'm paying to go race go-kart and it's still the same thing. You just got to slow your hands down. You just got to take the speed that's around you and just let everything happen as it, as it comes along. You can't really force it to happen. So. Uh, you know, it, it's funny because in a lot of ways it's completely different. In a lot of ways, it's exactly the same thing. You know, as far as the driving goes, you know, you got to pick up new techniques and and set up wise and that. But if you're fast in go karts, there's no reason you won't be fast in a race car. Safe is fast. It just it doesn't start just on the racetrack. It starts with what you what you do at home, how you prepare yourself. Uh, you know, your racing equipment, uh, you got to make sure that your race cars themselves are safe and you got to be comfortable in them. 